Hi, and welcome to Bandaloom. Today we're gonna to make a stocking charm. To make this charm, we need white and red bands, and we need our hook and the bandaloom. To begin, you wanna make sure that your bandaloom arrows are facing away from you like this. To begin the stocking, we're going to take two bands. This is an important step. For each of the builds, we're going to use double the bands. So we'll take two white bands to begin the top of the stocking. So we're going to start on the middle peg and pull to the peg above. Then again, we will take our double bands, still white, and move them to the side pegs, repeating again. Pushing down, because we're building with quite a few bands, we will now repeat again with the white, one time on the right, and then again on the other side. Now we're ready to switch to the red. Taking our two red bands, we're going to build our stocking. We're going to work in the rows, adding five sections of red bands. Now our middle row, again, five bands. And then our last row, five bands. So now it should look like this. This is our basic stocking shape, the body of the stocking. Now we're going to take, again, the double bands, and we're going to make a triangular shape going along the two outside and hooking the middle. We're gonna work with the red. You always wanna have the same color over as you work. Now you'll notice here, since we used white, we're going to take two white bands and complete the stocking. Now we can put this off to the side as we need to start to build this toe portion of our stocking. To build the toe portion, you're gonna take your doubled bands. And we're actually going to loop them around our hook. So you're gonna place the hook through the bands and you're going to loop once, twice, three times, and then push it down. We're gonna do this one more time. Again, our two bands, place the hook through, one, two, three times and push it down. Now you're ready to remove your wrapped bands. To do that, you're gonna take two more and hook it along your hook. And I like to use my pointer finger as an anchor. It just makes it easier. That way I can have this hand free to work. So now we're gonna begin pulling off our wrapped bands. Don't worry if they're not all coming off at once. It does take a bit of work. And I push it down. And then again. Pushing it down. And you'll notice I realized I had one hooked still left. Just make sure that you have two bands there. 
because you're working with so many vans, you may not notice, but just stop, count, and make sure there are two there. And we have two, so we're ready to remove. Through your hooked finger, you're going to now take your hook, push it through, and catch. Now you have your toe portion. To add this, you're going to take the first side and you're going to push it over your top left peg. You're going to take the second piece and push it over the second peg. So now this is what it should look like. Now we're going to work on the top stocking piece that gives that illusion of having the fluff. So we're gonna do the same step, except this time, and this is one of the few times we're using a single. We're gonna take one band, and the same step we did, wrap once, twice, three times. Now again, one band, we're gonna hook our one band, and again, use our finger to anchor, we're going to pull the loops over and slide them off. And then now catch the other side and place it on the top, the white, this bottom white portion. Doesn't matter if you start on the right or the left, we're going to do this to both sides. So one last time, wrap once, twice, three times. Again, single band, pull it over, slide it down, and catch the other side. And now we'll place that on the other side. And then you just want to make sure that they, you move your knots to the outside. Now at this point, you're ready to turn your loom around and begin building. Okay. Now we've turned the loom around. And we're gonna do one little step. It's not necessary, but I like to do it. You're going to take your one band and essentially you're gonna create an anchor. This helps the project from sliding around. You're gonna take your one band and wrap it around three times. And I like to do the same thing to the other side. Wrap it once, twice, three times. Now, you can reach through to the bottom two bands, pulling up, through, and to the peg above. We're gonna work on one row at a time. So now that you've done that, you're gonna go to the next above, same thing, making sure you grab the two bottom, pull through, and up to the next. Continue all the way to the top, stopping where you have the turn, the diagonal. It's so rolling straight up. Maybe a little tough because there are so many bands, but just work with it and you will get it. Now, for this row, there's only one part that's a little bit different than the first we did. And this is an important step. So what we're gonna do is take our hook and reach underneath 
that triangle, that piece that's hanging out, we're going to grab the two bands, pull over, and this is where you may have to use a little force. You're going to pull over. You can actually see I even dropped one. That's okay. You can just grab it again and pull it over. This is what's going to help give the curved shape to the stocking. Now that you've done that, you can continue the same way that you did for the first row. Now we're working on our final row. And we're doing the same exact thing that we did for the first. Pull through, bring it up. Now you just have to be careful because you have that toe portion that you are definitely grabbing both of the bottom bands. Now that we've created all of our rows, we're ready to bring the stocking together. To do that, you can start on either the right or the left, it doesn't matter. You're going to reach under and grab the bottom two bands and pull them across to the top peg. And then repeat on the other side. At this point, it should look like this. I should check to make sure that everything is hooked. And I even like to sometimes look underneath. This is just my way of confirming that I've caught every single band. And I can tell from now looking at it that I definitely have. So I'm ready to tie off the bands. And I do this by placing my hook through the top peg, reaching over to the side, taking two white peg, or white bands, and then pulling them through. You can just tighten once you've looped through. And sometimes I even like to take the ends and kind of just move them around a little. It helps tightening. So now we're ready to remove our bands. And you can use your fingers, but I personally, from my craft charms, like to use the band, the hook itself. That way I know that I'm not going to break any of the bands because there are so many. And now once it's off, you can move the pieces, shape it how you would like. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed making a stocking charm with me.
Thanks for watching.